Hey guys, and welcome to a video on College of Swords for the Bard class. Now, I had uh, written one much earlier in the year, but since the changes with MIDI and also Foundry itself, there's much better ways how to handle it. So let's go ahead and get into this. So here we're going to take a look at Blade Flourish. So what Blade Flourish does is every time you make an attack action, you get two extra feet of movement. This was actually pretty easy to pull off with a uh, damage bonus. So whenever it will automatically uh, grab uh, whenever your character attacks or casts a spell, it will add uh, the 10 feet of movement onto your actor. So we got this uh, guy targeted, and we do the attack, and now you can see the active effect that's there, and now they have the 40 movement. When Defensive Flourish is activated, it will go ahead and add your Inspiration die to your Defense uh, Armor bonus. So let's go ahead and see it in action. Now it does require you to have previously made a melee attack against the target uh, for it to grab the damage type. So in here we already did a previous uh, piercing attack with our rapier and we hit the zombie. So now on our inspiration roll we rolled a 4 and now you can see on the bard's uh, AC defense we went from 14 to 18. And with this, uh, when you deal your attack and roll your inspiration die, you can knock your target away by five feet. Now, in Foundry, it's kind of difficult to judge from that. Uh, you know, it could be, because it's five feet plus the number equal uh, to your die. Now, every square hex in here is done by five, so really, all you're going to really do is knock your target maybe up to a max maximum of 10 feet. Uh, so I had to, you know, figure out like, okay, are you going to knock them back 5 feet, or are you going to knock them back 10 feet uh, in addition to? Uh, so that's really where the dice uh, come into play. Uh, basically, rounding up and rounding down is the easiest way out of work. Now for this function, uh, I got Ripper. Uh, 93 involved. Uh, thank him so much. He's pretty. He's pretty. He's an awesome, dude. Definitely go check out his scripts. Um, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see this uh, bad boy in action. So we got our zombie here, who's been taking quite of a beating. Uh, let's go ahead and do this function. So now you can see here that we rolled a six, and then we get a dialog. Uh, to choose our distance as as I told you that we're rounding up so uh, so the six is considered on the high end of the roll because you know that's obviously you know the maximum amount of, that you can roll so that gave us the option of 10 and so if we choose 10 we can go ahead and knock back this guy uh, and so you can see here that he slid back the 10 feet because it's five feet and then plus the additional uh, inspiration die of being knocked back Finally, in this kit, we'll go ahead and look at Slashing Flourish. It's kind of like Green Flame Blade, uh, where you attack the main target, and then you can choose an adjacent target to deal damage to, while adjacent uh, of the bard himself. So, in this case, we have three targets. So, let's go ahead and hit our primary uh, with our rapier, or dagger. And then, from there, it'll actually grab the range of the weapon itself uh, in the formula. And then also, so if you had like a bard with a, with a um, halberd or something with a longer distance, then they can go ahead and use that. It'll deal damage to the main, and then it'll pick a secondary target. So in this, this case, we can choose the goblin or, or the other thing. Let's go ahead and deal damage to the goblin. Uh, so from there, uh, you can see that it, it dealt the remaining damage uh, from it uh, on the goblin himself. Hope you've enjoyed this look at College of Swords uh, for the Bard class. And of course, this will be available on my Patreon. And then also, on particular days, I've been streaming on Twitch. 
Uh, so if you got, uh, you know, if you frequent Twitch, go ahead and uh, check me out. You know, follow me on Twitter. Uh, that's usually where I will post uh, when I am streaming. Uh, so make sure, you know, to uh, follow me on there. Uh, and if you are a patron, I do send you alerts uh, via the Discord whenever I'm streaming on Twitch. Uh, and then, of course, Wednesdays is our typical D&D day. Uh, we play that from uh, 6 p.m. to uh, 9 p.m. Pacific Coast time. And then, if you do miss it, there's always the VODs. Uh, this uh, upcoming Thanksgiving uh, break, I plan on, uh, hopefully... Uh, getting a couple of video VODs, you know, converted into YouTube videos, editing the hell out of them, and then getting those uh, uploaded. So then uh, you can also enjoy them that way as well. Uh, but anyway, uh, I just want to give a special thank you to all my patrons uh, who have been supporting me. Uh, you guys mean a lot to me. You guys are awesome. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.